In this video, we're given information about the angles of a triangle. Using this information, we are going to try and find the three angles. We're told the second angle of a triangle is double the first, and the third angle is 40 degrees less than the first. We're asked to find the three angles. Let's look at the first, second, and third angles algebraically and see what we can find out. We're told that the second angle is double the first. To double something, we have to multiply it by 2. 2 times the first angle. Well, we don't know what the first angle is, so let's call it x. The second angle, double that, is going to be 2x. Double that first angle. Then we're told that the third angle is 40 less than the first. You recall less than means we're subtracting, and the 40 must come at the end because subtraction is built backwards, and we're subtracting 40 from the first. The first angle is just x. The implied information here that we are not directly given is that all the angles of a triangle will always equal the same thing when added up. The angles of a triangle will always equal 180 degrees. So let's add these three angles together, and we know it must equal 180 when we add them together. 2x, x, and x is 4x, and we also have this negative 40 on the outside. We now have a simple two-step equation we can solve by adding 40 to get 4x equals 220, and finally dividing by 4 to find out x is equal to 55. x represents the first angle, 55 degrees. The second angle is 2x, or 2 times 55. 2 times 55 is 110 degrees. The second angle is 110 degrees. The third angle is x minus 40. We found x to be 55 minus 40 will give us our last angle of 15 degrees. These are now the three angles of the triangle, 55 degrees, 110 degrees, and 15 degrees. You'll notice that if we add them up, they equal 180. Also, the second angle is double the first, and the third angle is 40 degrees less than the first. By representing each angle algebraically and knowing that they add up to 180, we can quickly find the angles of the triangle.